All right, welcome back to the page. It's your boy, Steve. I just want to say good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Let's get started. Wherever you are in the world, I appreciate you. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I just want to say thank you for your time. Thank you for your listening, your constant subscription. I appreciate your support. Let's get started. Today, I'm going to be talking about improving your speaking skills. Water, your speaking skills. Today, I'm just be dealing with people with ADHD. Tomorrow, we'll deal with dyslexia. Today, I want people to understand with ADHD, you got to have social skills. Whether you're learning how to speak to people directly or indirectly, you got to master the art. It's an art form. And I want you to encourage yourself with the fact that you can do it. You can do it. You can learn it. And the secret sauce of using um, um, excellent speaker skills can be mastered by you. And whatever your current level of your ability to speak, you can always improve that. You can always make it better. You can always get better. I want you to get better. You can do this. And you have to reinforce that to yourself every day that you can do this. You can get better. You can grow. You can keep learning. You can keep on getting better at it. And I want you to get better. But you got to want it for yourself. You got to want it for you. Getting better at speaking and improving your speaking skills, it opens doors for you. That that the absence of speaking skills could never bring you. So I want you to open up. I want you to first meditate on the fact that you want results. You want results. You want results. Know that you want results. And believe that you deserve results from improving yourself. Because life is about improving yourself. Getting better. Improving. Stretching, growing, learning, and taking notes from those who are better at speaking. And also understanding and appreciating the fact and believing the fact that even though you got ADHD, you can you can do this. You can get better and reach superior status of, of being a presenter. That's that. If you got to set a goal, a lofty goal like that, learn how to be, learn how to be a, a, a world-class speaker. If that's, if that will elevate your mind to think and to be better, do it by all means, by all means, set a, set a audacious goal to be this phenomenal speaker that will make you better. Because it will make you psychologically up your game to take notes. Heck, even join an organization that'll make you tighten up and, and, and calibrate your skills on a speaking level where you can reach that lofty goal of being world class, being able to hold a uh, conversation in front of people. I have the utmost respect for stand up professionals for stand-up comedians i mean think about it if you're a person who's able to stand and work from memory and practice and and timing and use of transition from one piece of material to the next i mean it, it takes practice but it also takes work years of work but it's worth it because then the success come and the financial reimbursement comes over time. But the thing about it is that, I mean, even if you got to sit there and watch and take notes on great speakers, like let's, let's run through them. Great co comedians, great presenters, even somebody who had to fight to speak and present a dissertation in front of a, a board of directors or a board of faculty Whatever you got to do, set yourself a big goal. I want you to, I want you to improve your skills with ADHD. I don't want you to stay stagnant where you, you could be equitable, equitable to somebody who just 
is mush mouth with your words. No, I want you to improve your game so well with your speaking skills that you are a person who can give a TEDx talk, who can earn a Nobel Peace Prize. You want to improve your speaking skills. I want you to. But you also got to want it for yourself. You got to go for it. You deserve it. And I want also my people with ADHD to start feeling like you deserve to be better. You deserve to be better with ADHD. It's totally doable. It's totally worth it. Imagine, just imagine, just just take a minute to imagine that you, you as a person, as a professional with ADHD, could be able to stand in front of people, let alone just one person. If not just one person, maybe a room of 300 or or auditorium of 30,000. And you could present and, and, and state your case. Whether you're a stand-up comedian, whether you're presenting in front of um, a group of thought leaders, I want you to reach uh, uh, excellence, yeah, area of excellence when it comes to speaking. You should know how to express yourself. That's what I want. I want my people with ADHD to feel like you can go into any room with complete confidence and complete strength and posture that you can express how you feel. You can talk what you want to say. You can get the point across that you want to say. I want you to reach that. So in your private time, I want you to make it your business to get better and to speak and get in the habit of practicing, get at least one point across in every conversation because you do it over and over, you get better. All right. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Now we're going to talk about Wednesday's homework. Yes, it is Wednesday. Ain't nothing changed. Let's get it. What is one, my question for today, and I want people to put their positive thought. What one consistent positive thought can you positively and consistently practice thinking about yourself? Because the thoughts you think about yourself is more important than the thoughts that anybody else could think about you. Your family, your friends, your loved ones, your next door neighbors, your community, your organizational members, what you think about you consistently you set up in your mind in some communities they call it a stronghold and other people would say it's real estate in your mind it's mental real estate what i want you to do is i want you to put in the comment section one consistent positive thought that you could think about yourself day in and day out because your self-esteem is important you have your self-image your self-worth is created as we as we fuse these things together. Self-image, self-worth, self-purpose, um, self and, and then it all determines whether you're going to reach the level of self-actualization. I want each of my listeners, ADD and a, um, dyslexia, I want you to get better. And I want you to start putting in the comment box, Take the homework seriously. I want you to just on the spur of the moment, I want you to, as soon as this video is over, put in the comment section, what is your one consistent positive thought that you could start to drum in your head every day about yourself being a better manager of your ADHD or of your dyslexia, whatever. I want you to start thinking positive, consistent thoughts about yourself because how you think to you and about you matters more than anything. But I'll tell you my consistent positive thought. My consistent positive thought that I want to have about myself is that I'm a winner. I'm a winner. And I manage myself like a winner. That's how I feel. I'm a winner. I'm a producer. And I'm top notch. And I tell myself this all the time. I play to win. I'm a winner. I'm top notch and I go for it. All right. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all of you. Please do the homework. Not for me. Do it for you. 
Because as you work on you, you get better. And only things change when you change. All right? Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you. Thank you for your time. It's your boy, Steve. Peace.